What's up, YouTube? This guy right here has been killing hookers in Tijuana, Mexico. This is some Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer wild stuff, okay? He's a U.S. citizen. His name is Brian Rivera or Brian Andrade Rivera. Reports are that he's 30 years old. He's been named the prime suspect by the Tijuana police in several murders of different hookers in Tijuana, Mexico. He's a U.S. citizen. I'm going to give you all the details right now. Guys, check this out. For those of you who don't know, Tijuana, Mexico has a legal red light district where prostitution is legal. It's called Zona Norte. Um, there's a lot of street hookers. There's a lot of hookers in clubs. It's pretty much just hookers wall to wall, okay? Well, several months ago, six, eight months ago, whatever it was, several of these girls started turning up dead, and it was a bad, bad situation, okay? They were strangled. They were beat. They were murdered. They were raped. They were found in the trunks of cars, robbed, just a really bad situation, okay? So the police, they started investigating. They started trying to do what they do, and they finally got a big break. The big break was they found one of these girls' cell phones, her iPhone, up in Riverside, California. Now, I'm not sure if they found it in a pawn shop or where they found it. There's conflicting reports there, but they found her cell phone. It had a tracker on it. They got in that cell phone and they were able to access social media such as Facebook, Instagram, things like that, and they tracked it back to this guy. Upon further investigation, they found that there were a lot of evidence that led them to the other murders, okay, of the other girls that had turned up dead from the red light district. So what they did was they started working with U.S. law enforcement and they named this guy right here their main suspect, okay? Now... They know he crosses the border. They're not sure if he's in California or if he's in Mexico, but there is a warrant out for his arrest in Mexico, and I do know that the Mexican authorities are reporting that they're working with the U.S. authorities to get a warrant issued so if he gets apprehended in the United States that he will be extradited to Mexico to face trial. So if you know where this cat's at, you know what he did, or you have any clues, please contact law enforcement because it's totally not cool what happened to these girls, okay? Even if they were hookers, even if they were working girls, they shouldn't have been murdered like this. It's a bad situation. Guys, if you don't know me, my name is Luke. I report on Tijuana, Mexico, primarily the red light district of Tijuana, Mexico on my YouTube channel. Tijuana, Mexico is a safe place. It's a fun place. It gets bad coverage in the press. Two times in the last two years, We've had American citizens down there murdering people in Tijuana, Mexico, okay? Uh, the first one was Logan Kelly, the basketball player. For those of you who don't remember, he was the Rutgers basketball player. Looked like a clean-cut white dude. He's down there in Tijuana, sliced this girl's throat for no reason, on camera, in front of everybody. It's on the internet. You can look it up. It's disgusting. He got arrested, sentenced to, I think he got 25 or 30 years in a Mexican prison for that. Now we got this John uh, Brian Andrade Rivera cat, and he's out there, uh, you know, pulling some Ted Bundy stuff. Totally not cool. Tijuana's supposed to be a fun place. It's supposed to be fun for the guys that go down there to party. It's supposed to be fun for the girls that come there to work. Uh, a lot of girls fly in from all over Mexico to the red light district to work the weekends, okay? They make a lot of cash. Uh, they're grateful for the opportunity to come there and make money. And uh, they have fun doing it. I personally know several of them, but it scared them, and it's not cool, and they shouldn't have to go through this, right? It should be a safe place for the guy, a safe place for the girl. It's completely legal, and the business owners should make a profit, right? That's what it's all about, having fun, making a little money, going home safe. Well, that's apparently not what's been happening, okay? Guys, if you have any questions about Tijuana, Mexico, my name is Luke. Smash that red like and subscribe button down there. And uh, hit me up in email. Any questions you have about Tijuana, Mexico, I would be happy to answer them. I've been in Tijuana, Mexico since 2003. So if you think about that, coming up on 20 years, right? Spent practically my entire adult life down there. Until next time, we'll see you down the road.